fingerprints on that dope money. Coming up next, we get to a featherweight matchup between Conor McGregor and Max Holloway. is upon us. Max Holloway versus Conor McGregor. Of course, they met in Boston back in 2013. That night, it was McGregor by decision. Of course, Holloway went on to win 13 consecutive fights thereafter. And Conor McGregor hurt himself in that fight and still was able to beat Max across all the scorecards. Shows how tremendous an athlete he is. But Max Holloway today is a much different fighter than he was way back in Boston. Just missed with the straight left hand. Nice leg kick lands. Holloway gets hit with a kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Beautiful leg kick throw. Another big leg kick lands. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Punch coming, it's blocked. Like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh! Oh! Oh, he might be out. Oh, that's a he is hurt. Massive full land. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Throws right in there. Oh! That's it! He got him! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so. Back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. Now we go inside the octagon. between Conor McGregor and Max Holloway. Here we go with round one between Max Holloway and Conor McGregor. And I would think if you're Conor McGregor, that first meeting back in 2013, you're throwing that footage out. You expect an entirely different, better version of Max Holloway tonight. You have to. And Conor McGregor is a very smart man and understands the adjustments and the differences that Max Holloway will approach this fight to. And if nothing else, he has to see it visually. Yeah. That is not the same kid that he fought way back in Boston in 2013. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. McGregor circling to his right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Max Blessed Holloway. That was a thudding leg. Right hand upstairs. Oh, and that is a pinpoint left hand right there from the grip. It is his best strike. It is because he knows exactly where he needs to be in the octagon to land that left hand over and over again. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. 
big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, that straight punch. Oh! Oh! He's right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird on the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. He's having his way with him here. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Man, great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Holloway's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Well, what a round it was, especially for the Are you ready? You ready? Second round underway. Good punch. And now he lands a combination. They're going at it now. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So we call on the numbers here. 40 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. And landing with 40% accuracy tonight against Max Holloway. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Holloway's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Blocks the shot. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh! Oh! Right there, the seminal blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by McGregor. Holloway's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Effective punch there by McGregor. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful legs. Like, this year, limping here. And that's the end of round number two.
All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. Third round underway. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Beautiful play. There's no tell oh. on that leg. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to rotate that finish. Oh, he might be out. strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. And if you care about the efficiency, connecting with a 37% accuracy rate against Max Holloway. Look at how we go. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt. Two Man. shots there. Man. Oh, he might be out. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up. And when he does, he creates this space to land him. Unbelievable! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And they thought he did a good job of doing just that. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. 